Welcome to October's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is an insert into a binary search tree. You are given the root node of a binary search tree and a value to insert into the tree. Return the root node of the binary search tree after the insertion. It is guaranteed that the new value does not exist in the original binary search tree. Now notice there may be multiple valid ways for the insertion. For example, if we were to insert five into this binary search tree, we could insert it to the left node of seven or we could restructure the tree, add it to the root, and make four go into the bottom here on the right side of a three node. I would say ignore this. This just makes it more confusing. Just look at this binary search tree insertion and think about how we would write our algorithm. Now, one of the things I realized is I've worked with binary search trees quite a bit, but I actually don't know how to do this, uh, which surprised me. But if you simplify this idea, as simple as possible, like let's just say we have the number five, we know how to traverse the tree, right? We could say if five is greater than four, then go to the right. If seven is, um, or five is less than seven, go to the left and so on and so forth. That's only when we find that there's no more nodes that we should do the insertion. We should insert five here. But say that we have the number 2.5, for example. I know these are all integers, but just for example, say we had the number 2.5, we'd go left and then we would see that 2.5 is between 2 and 3, right? So one of the first thoughts you might have is, oh, then we should, you know, restructure this to have 2.5 here and then 3 to the right. But we don't need to do that, actually. Because of the way the binary search trees are structured, there always will be one level at the end where we can insert our, our value, uh, especially because we know that it's unique. There should be some child at the very end, some sort of leaf, that we should be able to insert it at the very end, whether it's to its left or right, and still keep the structure of the binary search tree. So because of that, this really is not that complicated. Um, what we're gonna do is write a function, and we'll just call it insert, and we'll pass in the root, or we'll call it node, as well as the value. Now, usually with these sort of binary search tree problems, we have like a base condition, uh, but you'll notice that we we'll actually don't need that here, um, and I'll show you why. So if the value is greater than the node's value, then what do we want to do? We want to go to the right side, right? So we'll just do the insert and go to the right. Otherwise, we know that it's less, so we're going to go to the left side. All right, so where do we do the insertion? Well, here's the problem. We actually need to insert it when we're at the node. Right? We can't insert when we're at a, at a null value. So it's not this base condition that we want to put. We just want to check here. If node.write is null, so if not node.write, this is where we just insert it into the node. So we say node.write is just going to equal tree node of this value. And then we just end right there. So we can just make this an else and continue on forward like this. Same thing here, if not node dot left, then make the node dot left equal to tree node value. Otherwise, we keep traversing and do the insert here. So this is recursive, uh, but notice that the base condition comes in the code here rather than up here. So that I thought was interesting. Uh, but that makes total sense, right? So all we need to do then is run our code, insert the root and value, and then just return the root after we're finished. Now one edge case, if the root is blank, we still need to create a node for the tree. So if not root, we're just gonna return the tree node of this value because that is now gonna be the root. All right, so let's see if this works. And it looks like it's doing what we want. Uh, this is the example we've been given, and you can see five has been put to the uh, left side of seven here, I think. Well, um, yeah, I guess we can just take a look, see how it looks. And yeah, so five is at the left side of seven. This is correct. So let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go, accepted. So uh, when I first saw this problem, it kind of worried me because I wasn't 
sure, I've never seen this before, it might be complicated, but as soon as I realized, you know, we can always insert this value into some sort of leaf at the very bottom, it becomes very, very simple. So, great. Thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.